Hi, I'm Rochelle, one of your fellow growing groupies, and I'm here with Scarlett Blandon, our in-house registered dietitian. And today we're going to talk about how to make any meal high in protein, morning, noon, noon or night. Hi Scarlett, so what are we going to have here today? Hey Rochelle, and hi growing groupies. Today I have uh, some examples of quick meals that are not normally high in protein. And I basically want to show you how you can stir, shake, or sprinkle our protein powders on them to make them high in protein. So, easy peasy, things on your shelf, no recipe? That's right, easy peasy, no recipes. Okay, let's start with breakfast. Alright, so the USDA recommends a high protein breakfast, and that's usually before school for kids, but it also goes for adults because the protein in the breakfast is going to help keep you full, satiated, and it's also going to help to regulate your blood sugar. Now what I have here today are some common breakfast items that are not high in protein, the cereal and a non-dairy milk, and you can choose the vanilla or the rice protein. And what you do is, one option is to sprinkle the protein powder directly onto the cereal, then you can just pour the milk over it. Or the other option is that you can mix the protein with the milk in the blender bottle and then pour that over the cereal. All right, and I personally love the chocolate rice protein because I can enjoy a chocolate, guilt-free chocolate cereal. And when you add just half a scoop of that, you're getting, you're adding only one gram of sugar, but you're also getting the 12 grams of protein, which is awesome, especially for kids. But if you're an adult, you can go ahead and do the full scoop and get 24 grams of protein. So there's more options rather than eggs and chicken sausages, right? Yep, that's right. You can even add this into oatmeal or yogurt too. Nice. Okay, so what is our options for lunch? For lunch, I have a salad today, and this is a salad that you can either order at work or you can prepare it yourself at home. But let's say that you're a vegan or vegetarian, um, so you're not consuming any animal protein like fish, chicken, um, or you just don't want to prepare that yourself or you don't want it, maybe you want to save on money and you just want to get a plain salad with veggies, but you do want to make it high in protein. So what you can do is take some original pea protein and mix it in with your salad dressing in there and then you can just pour that over your salad to make it a high protein salad. Now when you add the protein will it make it gritty? Actually I find that the original pea protein works awesome with this because it's totally smooth and it gives it a nice subtle veggie flavor. It's perfect. Oh, I like it. Okay how about dinner? For dinner, we have some pasta. I love pasta personally. I don't know if you like pasta. Love pasta. Kids love pasta too, so this makes for a great quick meal. Okay. Now, pasta is not usually high in protein unless you're adding animal protein to it. But what we can do is take some original rice protein and add that into the pasta sauce. And then you can just pour that over your pasta and you have a great high protein quick meal. And you can also use any uh, pasta sauce that you want. So All right, so what you're telling me is protein is not for just shakes anymore. Exactly. Okay, so for some more helpful hints, on behalf of our growing groupies, go to growingnaturals.com slash recipes. Until next time, this is Rochelle and Scarlett. See ya. Bye.